Hello Capricorn, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do a reading regarding who or what is coming towards you for the rest of May. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you have those placements, this may resonate with you. Just keep in mind these are pretty general. Alright, who or what is coming towards Capricorn for the rest of the month here? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the rest of the month. Who is coming towards them, please? One more. Six of Wands. Well, success for sure for some of you. Recognition, admiration, we'll see. The Five of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, Chariot, and the Strength card. Okay, so if we are talking about a person, Capricorn, uh, they feel very much here that they need to clear the air. There's been a lot of things that have not been said. They feel left out or they feel abandoned. Right away, the Five of uh, Pentacles is followed by the, um, the Ace of Swords. And this is very important because to me, I feel like this Ace of Swords is saying, okay, what do we need here to, to open up to? I don't know if they've gone through financial difficulties. I don't know if this person, because we have the six of wands here, which is that admiration and success. And this is usually someone that is not looked, you know, in the best possible light or feels lacking or feels like they lost here something. Um, it takes a lot of courage, though, because these two cards are my courageous card, my brave cards, the cards that someone here is like, I'm unstoppable. Uh, but it's interesting because with the high priestess, there's been this inner knowing or the intuition or secrets here that needed to be revealed. When it comes to the chariot, there is an unstoppable energy. Now with the strength card, it's like someone is trying to kind of hold back, restrict that. Yes, I need to be strong here. I need to know what I'm going through. But I uh, also, there's pride involved. There's, uh, I cannot be, you know, cast it outside I cannot be left alone or in a situation rejected so the person wants to open up towards you they may be from a distance uh, you might get some type of information um, that sets you in a way you know free or starts things moving along but that chariot chariot and the strength card tells me that someone feels like three major arcanas here I really need um, to have the bravery I need to have the strength, the willpower to approach this. Can I open up? Can I reveal something that I've been, you know, kind of not said here for a long time? I'm not being able to talk about it. That's that's who or what is coming towards you. I, I cannot stay in this poor me mentality. I need to clear the air and listen to my intuition. And once this thing happens, once, you know, someone has this epiphany realization, it's, it's time to move forward. But it does require a lot of willpower, strength. And even as I mentioned here, someone that is very bright. It's like, look, these two is like someone that wants to open up here, love, but feels like they have to be defensive about opening up or expressing feelings. Let's see, let's clarify if we see what we get else. What is the five of pentacles, please? One more. The king of wands. Some of you may be dealing with the seven of swords and queen of wands. Two people that are very attracted towards each other. Um, some of you may be dealing with Leo. You don't have to. Um, again, I feel like this is someone that is used to getting attention or needs always to be here you know, in the best light or status. This is not someone that is used to not getting that because, again, I keep looking at the Six of Wands and the Strength card and this Five of Pentacles is always society-wise as well. It's just someone feel like, I want this. There's someone here that has been always very charismatic or getting attention easily or even, you know, very passionate now feels like, I can't believe I'm... I'm I'm out here. I'm left out in the cold. 
what is the ace of swords now if you are the king of wands they may be trying here to get your attention as well yeah fighting i keep getting that there's this fighting between emotions and you know when it comes to pride what is the ace of swords please one more it's like i want to um have this breakthrough so i don't carry this burden anymore i'm waiting for some type of positive change I'm, i've been struggling and i've been holding on to this there's um always a goal with this energy with the ten of wands it's like someone wants to reach that um positive change but it's coming with breakthrough it's coming with clearing the air or again being very um blunt and to the point of what do we need to start here because i'm tired what is the high priestess one more love again that ace of cups keeps coming someone realizing it's all about love opening up and you know giving it a chance another ace what is the ace of cups with the high priestess please one more the queen of pentacles the six of cups here and the knight of swords six of cups soulmate someone from the past the queen of pentacles very well may be you right but someone here that wants to open up towards this queen of pentacles she's not even looking though she's concerned about her value stability security so that's a fear of this person how they approach you what is the chariot please One more. Wow. The chariot. Well, I, that's why I feel like someone is holding back because this is I'm going and whatever happens, happens. I don't care. I'm charging in. Mars energy there. What is the chariot? That's why, like, once this lead open and once someone, uh, you know, opens up regarding their feelings, everything will change. It's like to me it's a sudden movement it's like a sudden approach what is a chariot with a tower one more the emperor is such a controlling energy but this is a foundation it's like someone here going for it even if it means that you know someone's foundation is going to come down here or the way someone is acting very aries energy now I'm getting strong masculine energy but again it can be feminine as well but um that is a fear that's why the strength card is like i cannot go here and destroy everything i have to hold back but i still i have to to move forward so how can i you know show toughness and i feel like even vulnerability at the same time that's how i'm getting here there's a gentle approach with this and we're going to clarify in a little bit but i am getting that um, no matter what happens what, whatever this approach that they're coming towards you they know that is is a lot going on here with that Mars something has to come down can I stop can I control the chaos can I control what happens afterward that's what I'm getting the person that is approaching towards you when they clear the air or open up this has been someone that has been trying to resist this for a long time what is the strength card? One more. The, yeah, that Ace of Wands. It is about passion, a passion that is being trying to be withheld back. What is the strength card, please? And the Ace of Wands. One more. It has to be reciprocated. Remember, the Five of Pentacles was the beginning here. We have a one-sided lacking, you know, uh, someone that needs to know that if I'm going to open up, if I'm going to clear the air, once we, uh, you know, I make this approach, come towards you. It, I need a lot of strength because, again, this new passion, something needs to be reciprocated. It needs to be mutual. That's what's coming towards you. In the end, it's very important, this approach of this person and how can both of you balance each other. 
what happens what needs to change so you know we have a lot of changing cards here with the wheel of fortune that um the tower and even chariot something needs to change of course and someone needs to listen to their heart but at the same time what will completely come down here and what needs to be rebuilt with with a um, emperor we're talking about structure rebuilding control so to me it's like whatever this approach that has to come forward this new passion not only has to be reciprocated with this person but both of you have to kind of be on the same um level here when it comes to what do you need sorry loyalty what do you need to do here to rebuild this connection especially if someone has felt it was unrequited or was it one-sided there is also here yeah, it's coming strong strong masculine energy loyalty dedication trust and someone that can be reliable now it may be the feminine wants the masculine to be this way or this is what the masculine wants you'll decide that who or what is coming towards capricorn in love please who or what is coming towards capricorn in love I think that changes are coming. It's just someone needs the strength, that willpower to ignite that. Yeah, you both are mirroring each other. You and this person. Reflection, shared feelings. Wow, there is a broken hearted energy here. Unspoken regrets here. Lost words or afraid of disappointment for some of you. Yeah, someone has been pretending here to not be affected, not to be disappointed. That's, that's a bluff. Wow, resentment. What happened again? The five of pentacles. I, I keep getting that this is a person that is trying to, you know, feel like, okay, I'm not angry. Um, I'm not mad. I'm pretending here that I'm not mad. But they're very conflicted, Capricorn. Very, very conflicted. Multiple choices, inconsistencies. Yeah, because there's a lot of hidden aspect. Now, this may be hidden emotion with this person that they have. When it comes to you, remember, there's a cer certain situation here about loyalty, dedication, or trust. And with this, there's someone here that is not... Or it has a hard time opening up. Or they, they feel like there's no trust in this connection. There's a lot of hiding. Who or what is coming towards Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in love? Who or what is coming towards Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in love? It's like I'm pretending here that I don't have all this resentment, that I, you know, I'm hiding my feelings. I have multiple, you know, I feel like there's inconsistencies or I'm conflicted which way to go or what to do. One more. Who or what is coming towards Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in love, please? If someone is struggling alone There's something about marriage here or mutual promises made this person may want you to make them a promise or to you know to promise you you know there's going to be uh, an exclusive connection for some of you maybe there was someone that was in another connection here there's been a lot of to me this is inconsistency there's a lot of in and out. There's a lot of hot and cold. There's a lot of even player energy or, you know, one moment I want this, one moment I don't want this. But they're pretending. Remember, games of the heart, push and pull, runner and chaser, letting love enter. So again, that ace of cups in the end is just, I don't know, maybe both of you um, are doing this with a mirroring. But definitely the person that is coming towards you, they want to open their heart. They're trying here to master themselves, achieving balance yin and yang light and dark they're watching you silent seduction keeping one eye watching again they need to know here that if they have the the strength the, the power here as well to come forward with this new passion not only you know they have to be you know both of you have to kind of balance there has to be a give and take especially if someone here feels like i owe you but it is important it is important here in a way i feel like with an unspoken regret and um the not a start of mutual exclusive promises made mutual promises made i feel like someone regrets that you know you guys could not be together that there was not a possibility here and now it's just this back and forth i want to open up i'm watching i'm feeling maybe you know it's been a lot of conflicted so we have to balance or we have to achieve some type of balance before we come together but that's that's where the conflicted energy is coming from them 
I really hope this resonates with you guys. I've already completed, you know, for the rest of the month, the Celtic Curl. So if this is not your spread, you can check that out. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.